Um, the primary purpose of this video is we're going to kind of just run around in stock speed for a few a minute or so here and then um, overclock, beef it up and do a little more running around I'm going to run the benchmark and set CPU let you see what those numbers look like largely just because when I get up in the morning there's going to be another release and I'm told we're going to see significant improvements on it and I tried to pull up Hulu and Hulu comes up, the flash there works I could show you, but there's not much point because for some reason the videos themselves won't stream. Uh, it waits quite a while and then gives me an error. So I don't know if that's because the 3G is a little too slow for the site, or if it is flash related, I'm not sure. Um, I will pull up a couple flash tests though just to show you. Okay, so I'm on the Rosie launcher. You can um, just kind of see the performance there. I'm, I'm virtually dead. I've been here all day making videos and talking to everybody, keeping everyone informed. Um, and I think my phone knows that because it's not detecting my touch this evening very well. So you can see it's... I mean, I've seen worse HTC ROMs out there, but this is by no means speedy, in my opinion. Um, at least not rosy. When you get into applications, the individual apps tend to run a lot quicker. If you watched my videos earlier, um, you saw me running around in the browser, and the browser was very snappy. Um, the 3G speeds are great. Here you can see, for example, um, this actually runs much faster than any of my other ROMs have, as I use this app on a regular basis uh, to find backgrounds to suit my mood. So. You can see, you know, I'm, I'm jumping around in here at a pretty good pace. So I'm going to jump, jump back to Sense. Sorry for the uh, sideways angle and all this stuff, but the way my camera is set up to keep this all in focus, I can't move it back and forth very easily. So you can see now we're running at 550, max at 550. Um, we're in the on-demand profile. Uh, I set the threshold at 30%. I like to keep it low just so things move. Um, so there we go. Batteries at 34%. I have 49k or you know 49 meg uh, free memory right now, and we'll run this benchmark a few times. Now I can tell you in my Cal 1.1 ROM right now. If I overclock to 1.1 gig, I generally see like 150 to 200 milliseconds, more to the 150 side. If I run about 900 megahertz, I tend to see about 205 pretty consistently. So you can see the latency on this benchmark here is, is uh, pretty rough at the moment. But hopefully that's what we'll see in the morning change. So it looks like this one's only slotted, the kernel that's been included so far is only slotted up to 950. But we'll go ahead and give that a try as it looks like we're already up to 950. There we go, 270, 274. So almost twice as quick in terms of raw CPU. All right, now we'll go back to Rosie and see what's what. Ah, much better. Still a little bit of lag, although it almost seems like their their bounce animation makes it look laggier. It's kind of funny, but definitely an improvement. Uh, that's still kind of iffy, but better. It's not so much unresponsive, it's just laggy. Um... Again, you can see not everything has the same problem. Some of this is lightning fast. I'm going to switch back to GDE for a minute, and then we're going to go into the browser. I think I'm just about out of time. I can't go over 2 gig. And at 720p, it happens fast. There we go. So you can see how much nicer GDE runs now also. That's still pretty rough. I've seen this so smooth that 
the uh, the frame rate was pretty much more than the eye could do. But that's much better overclock. So the if nothing else, we know that the overclocking vastly improves the uh, launcher performance. And everything else, like I said, the apps themselves all tend to be fairly snappy to begin with. So if this is just kind of a rosy issue, then the overclocking helps a lot. You can see there, uh, I guess we do get some zoom on this. You know, that's, that's responsive to me. So let's get in here and do some of the tests. Again, it, it's detecting me dying here. And there's our little flash player. I'm going to do a couple of these for the Doubting Thomases. And I just, you saw I just Googled there. And this will explain, if I recall, yeah, there's, there's where the confusion for Flash 10 comes from. Just the way it reports it to the site. This is not Flash 10.1. It's Flash Lite, but it reports 10.1 to the browser just to make the browser play nice. And then it worries about what details it will and will not support. So you can see audio, video. Um, oh, and again, you heard the droid a second ago when I got a message. The sound is working. Uh, let's see, I'll just try one more here randomly. So there's another one that detects it, doesn't show it off. And I guess I'll go ahead and... Um, oh, no, swipe will not be included in this ROM. We've received a very nice letter from the uh, owners of Swipe, and they mentioned their lawyers, <laughs> and we understood that message in no uncertain terms. I love Swipe. I wish they would sell straight to the individuals instead of going strictly through their OEM model. I, I can't imagine what they're thinking. I mean, OEM's a lot of money, but they're missing such a huge market segment that way, too. So, here on Hulu, you can see Flash is working. I just haven't been able to actually stream a movie. Burn notice rules. Uh, Johnny Cash on Sesame Street. Looks like it's trying to load some other stuff. There's probably a bit of a RAM issue here. Just because Hulu's trying to do so much stuff at once. I thought this was pretty interesting. There's definitely um, an issue with Flash here. Oh, hey! <laughs> Never mind, it worked. Last time I got a funny message telling me something about the server wasn't licensed to run this application, which I found pretty entertaining. Now, I'm in the Phoenix metro area, so I'm going to see if I can actually run this bad boy. Tucson, okay, whatever. Look at that. Speedtest.net running in flashlight on Android 2.1, the Motorola Droid, and the. Let's see if I can remember the name here. Zeus Droid does desire ROM. 384 milliseconds, not too bad. Almost 1 megabit down. Now, that 1 megabit uh, is actually a little bit slow for where I'm at and how Verizon usually works for me, but I'm willing to bet that's taxing the CPU pretty well and slowing it down. But if that's not the ultimate, if that is not the ultimate flash test, um, I don't know what is, because that's a pretty demanding little flash app. Ta-da! Oh, and also the te results of that test are to Tucson and never tested to Tucson before. So anyway, gotta kill this video. You guys better love this because it's now 4.14 a.m. I'm going to go catch some Z's, get up in the morning, hopefully have a whole other ROM to do another video for you.